Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech. And in today's video, I want to talk about the Adobe Creative Cloud and why you should seriously consider investing in it and what it includes and how it compares to other products on Adobe's website and the pricing and the packaging and the different benefits of each one and whether or not you should seriously consider buying it. So I do have a bunch of information down here on a piece of paper in front of me, such as charts and prices, etc. And so I just want to read off a couple things first. Uh, the first is the CS6, the whole everything, the whole enchilada, everything that Adobe includes with CS6 starts at $1,300 and it goes up to $2,600. Now you get all kinds of extra features and stuff like that. Um, but let's say we want to go with the $1,300. We want to go with the base CS6 Creative Suite, which includes everything. Let's say that's what we're interested in. So that's $1,300, a one-time purchase. Your Creative Cloud, on the other hand, is $50 for all those same programs and plus some additional cloud storage and some other couple of little features that you get as well. So that's $50 a month, which is $600 a year. So you might be thinking, hey, $600 is a lot cheaper than $1,300. But you have to remember, you're paying the $600 yearly. So if you don't mind having outdated software after a year, CS6, buying CS6 is a one-time thing, not a big deal. Now this is regular pricing. This is not student pricing. But if you like having the new updates, having all kinds of updates, etc., Creative Cloud is going to be the way to go because you constantly get new updates. It's only $600 a year. And so basically you're paying $600 each year for the whole creative suite for the newest version. And so uh, it's kind of good in that aspect if you want all the latest updates. If you just want the creative or if you want the creative suite one time deal, you don't care about updates in the future, you don't want to pay for it ever again in the future, then you should just buy CS6, uh, the one time price purchase price. Now, they also give you the option to buy Photoshop, Premiere, InDesign, After Effects, all that stuff individually. And so what they're kind of doing is trying to push everybody to their Creative Cloud idea. Now, they didn't have this when I signed up for their Creative Cloud. Now that you can buy Photoshop on a monthly basis, $20 a month. And it's pretty, pretty sure it's for every single program, at least the ones I checked. You can buy it for $20 a month, but that totals to $240 a year for one program. So you say... The only thing you honestly are going to use is Photoshop. You want to buy Photoshop, you want Photoshop. So do you get uh, the full version of Photoshop, which costs $700 for a one-time fee for the CS6 version, or do you get the kind of creative cloud route and do you pay $20 a month, which would be $240 a year? You're kind of weighing out your options. Uh, you wouldn't want to go with the full creative cloud because you have no idea and know how to use any of the other programs if you just want Photoshop. So. $240 a year isn't too bad for all the latest updates in Photoshop. Now say you want to also have Premiere because you want to do a little bit of video editing. Well, uh, that's another $240. So you're going to be spending $480 a year. Uh, you're getting a little closer to that $600 mark. Well, say you're also pretty good at After Effects. So you want After Effects as well. That's $720 a year if you do the per $20 per month pricing. $720 a year for three programs. With the Creative Cloud, you're paying $600 a year for a ton of Adobe programs. Uh, Aud or yeah, Audacity, uh, Audition, uh, After Effects, Premiere, InDesign, Dreamweaver, Muse, um, Illustrator, all, the, all that stuff. $600 a year. Now, if you'd spend the full price, uh, Photoshop is $700, Premiere is $800, and After Effects is $1,000, you'd be spending $2,500. $2,500. Or six hundred dollars. Now you might say, well, you have to pay that yearly, but you're getting every, you're getting new updates, and so if you're going to be buying the new software again the next year, the upgrade fee, if even it's a little bit lower, you're still going to be paying more than you did if you'd be with a Creative Cloud. And so if you're thinking about getting more than one Adobe program through the monthly subscription basis, Creative Cloud is the way to go because it's just a better option. It gives you more programs to use. You can learn all these new programs, and uh, overall, it's just better. Uh, they also have a Creative Cloud team, which is seventy dollars, um, but you also get hundred gigabytes per storage per user. So you work with other people, you add them to your teams, and so it's seventy dollars a month rather than fifty. But you're getting hundred gigabytes per person um, of cloud storage that you can use with your team, whether you're producing videos, artwork, websites, whatever. And now I didn't go over student pricing, and student pricing is actually even better. Student pricing for the Creative Cloud for Adobe with all the programs is thirty dollars a month. That's $360 a year. Okay, $30 a month. What, if you're a student, what do you spend $30 a month on? Well, probably uh, two meals. If you eat out twice a month, uh, you don't need to go to the restaurant. If you cut those meals, you can have all Adobe programs every month. Or if you're doing YouTube, if you're making 30 bucks a month on YouTube and you're a student, 
you should be getting the Creative Cloud if you like Adobe products. Adobe is making their programs more and more affordable for more and more people. And honestly, I think you're crazy if you buy any standalone product because you're buying that one version and it's sitting there forever, never gonna get updated because you bought that version. But with the Creative Cloud, you get all your updates. Now, like I said, if you only want one program, you seriously just want Photoshop, nothing else, then I'd say $20 per month is the way to go. Um, you might argue saying, you know, I just wanna pay the full $700, don't have to mess around with that ever again. That's your personal decision. But it, once again, it's $700 a month, one-time payment, or not $700 a month, $700 one-time payment, or $240 uh, a year and have all your updates. So it's kind of a toss up whether, what, whether or not you think it's worth it or not. And so this video might have been kind of confusing with all the numbers that I just threw out, but honestly, if you just sit back and think, am I gonna pay $2,600 for a one-time fee for the whole Creative Suite Master Edition whatever to get all the programs, or am I gonna spend $50 a month, which is $600 a year, to get basically all the programs, there might be literally one missing, but they add new ones all the time, they're adding more, they just added Lightroom not too long ago. Um, they're adding more, and $600 a year, 2600 a one-time fee. With $600 a year, you're constantly getting upgrades. And if you're gonna upgrade further down the road, the $2,600 price doesn't even make sense because you're gonna be buying it over and over and over again, even with the upgrade price. And so just Creative Cloud just makes sense. I hope I conveyed that in this video. I use it, $50 a month, YouTube covers the cost of it. If you can get yourself to be banking $50 a month, $30 if you're a student, you can have all the Adobe programs and have no problems. Um, it's as simple as that. And that's why I would highly suggest people to seriously consider the Creative Cloud. I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, if you're using Sony Vegas or something like that, that's comp completely fine. I'm not saying to ditch what you have right now, but I'm saying if you want to get into the Adobe programs, you want to learn the Adobe programs, the Creative Cloud is the way to go. It's honestly the most cost efficient and the cheapest, in my opinion. I use it myself, like I said. I'm just looking to see if anybody else uses it, if anybody else has any opinions on it. Um, you can feel free to comment back saying I'm completely wrong if you really want to. Um, but everything that I've looked at just looks like the Creative Cloud is just a much better route to go. And Adobe seems to be really pushing the Creative Cloud because when you go to the website, the first option is to buy through a subscription basis rather than buy the one-time purchase like it used to be. So that's going to wrap this video up about the Creative Cloud. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it made sense. I know I threw a bunch of numbers out there. It could get a little bit confusing. But I'll leave this video a like to help support the channel. Also, subscribe for more tech and game-related videos. And check me out on all my social links. They're all in the description below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.